like I had zero clue. Zero clue. guys welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new i'm Haley. this is rob and this is rob and Haley. and today we are going to tell you our engagement proposal story in honor of today the day you're seeing this not the day we're filming this being our seven year anniversary it's technically tomorrow but the day you're seeing this it'll be our anniversary and what day is that january 25th <laughs> Yes, um, so this is our seven year dating anniversary. We are currently engaged. We're getting married in 2022, um, but we started dating seven years ago tomorrow. Um, and so we figured a lot of people have been asking us about our proposal story. We posted our like proposal video, um, but it just showed what happened. It didn't show like everything that went into it. So a lot of people- Not much. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of people have been asking about it, so I thought that we'd sit down and share it with you guys. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. It really does help our channel when you leave a like on the video, and also be sure to hit that red subscribe button to join our YouTube family. We have lots of fun wedding planning content coming up, and I'm planning to do some more challenges with this guy. So, and we have a really cute puppy. So be sure to subscribe so you can become a part of our YouTube family. Again, it really helps our channel out and it's free for you. So let's get into the story. Okay, so like I said, we've been together for seven years. Um, we met in high school when we were 16 and 17. I was 16. Yeah. Well, we were both 16 when we met. Yes. So um, we met. She's in older than me, so she's you know, <laughs> kind of a cougar. <laughs> Uh, so we met in 2014. It was our junior year of high school and our first date was going to formal together. Um, so we were together through the end of high school, all through college and then after college. And we knew that we were going to get engaged and we actually went. Did we? Yes. Did we though? Yes. So we actually went ring shopping in March right before the whole world shut down. Um, we went ring shopping. We found a ring that we really liked. That, that I really liked. liked. <laughs> that I really liked. Um, I only looked at the price tag. <laughs> I'm super, super picky. And so we figured like, it'd be better for me to just pick out the ring and then he'd surprise me with the proposal um, instead of like the ring also. So anyway. It made it easier on me. Yeah. We went and picked out the ring right before the world shut down and then the world shut down and we didn't actually get it until June, I think, right? I was looking at the dog. We didn't get the ring until June, right? I think around there. I don't remember. So then from June on, he had the ring. He told me he was gonna propose when he wanted to and it was driving me freaking nuts. Well, people forget we lived together and it was like three feet away from your yeah, bed. Yeah, it was literally like sitting in our house. But I didn't look at it again and it was driving me nuts because I didn't know when he was gonna do it. But he really wanted to surprise me. You were being so annoying about it. I was like dying for it to happen, but he really wanted to surprise me because I'm really, really hard to surprise. If anything is like a little bit off, I can tell. Like if anything is like any different, then I like figure out that something's up. Okay, so it was the Friday before Thanksgiving. Um, everything was normal. Earlier that week, my sister was coming home from college and she had texted me on like Wednesday saying, hey, do you wanna go down? There's these bluffs that we like to go walk along on the ocean. She's like, do you wanna go walk along the bluffs and like whatever, hang out since I'm home for Thanksgiving and I hadn't seen her since August. So I was like, yeah, sure. I had casually mentioned to my mom that I was like, oh yeah, my sis McKenna and I, my sister, and I are gonna go down to the bluffs. And she's like, oh, can I come? I need to get Christmas card photos of you girls. Like we don't have any nice photos since we haven't been together all year. And she's like, can I come and take photos? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So then that Friday, um, everything was normal. Rob left for work, like everything was normal. And I remember texting my mom and sister saying, can we do photos another day? I don't feel like getting ready. Like I was in leggings and a t-shirt all day. I was just like, I don't want to get ready. And then my mom was like, 
well, I have a coupon that expires this weekend, so we have to do it today. So I was like, fine, whatever. Then my sister texts me and she's like, you can borrow one of my shirts. Like, she was helping me decide on an outfit. Literally didn't think anything of it. So props to my sister for keeping it super casual, because like, yeah. Um, so then I drove up to my parents' house to meet them, and then my whole family was like in nice clothes. But again, I totally just thought we were taking Christmas card photos. I had my dog with me, and then I was upset. Whose dog? Our dog. And I was upset because I wanted to get our Christmas card photos. And so I had like texted him and was like, can you try to be home before we go? And he was like, I don't think I'm going to today. Like I have a lot of meetings. And then I actually called him and he declined it. And he was like, sorry, I'm talking to my boss. Like I can't talk right now. I was, I was, like, okay. I was laying on my parents' couch. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to tell the rest of this from my perspective. And then you tell it from your perspective, like what you were doing all day. I mean, there was, I, okay, did, but you know what I, I mean? did nothing but watch TV, okay, but like, lounge around, and I got up and showered like 30 minutes before I was supposed to leave. But you then. fooled me. So we are walking along the bluffs and like, it's like a long walk and you eventually get over to a lighthouse. And so we were walking and taking photos and like, I was taking photos with the dog. We were taking photos together. Like it was normal. Um, and then we went around the corner and like, literally we were just walking. And all of a sudden I see my sister like turn, keep turning around and looking at me. And that was the first thing I saw, and that was like, some, I was like, something's up. And then I looked over, and Robert was waiting right there, and then he proposed. And um, his, fa his parents were there, and then obviously my family was there. And I literally had no clue until my sister kind of like turned around, and then I saw you immediately after. Like, I had zero clue, which is insane, because like I said, if anything is off, I can tell. And nothing was off. Nailed it. So he got up that morning and went to work, but he didn't go to work. He went to his parents' house and he just stayed there all day. But he texted me like normal as if he was at work. Like we don't text a lot during the day. So like nothing seemed off. Like I had zero clue. Yeah, I watched a lot of TV that day. <laughs> and you like didn't, oh, I got up that morning. Um, so actually that morning he gets up around like, 5 5 30 or that's when he leaves for work and that morning I had um I usually am not up then and I'm usually laying in bed but that morning I couldn't sleep so I ended up actually getting up and coming to the couch and he had showered but put his pajamas back on because like he was just going to his parents house and was going to go back to sleep but he actually showered so that I wouldn't think anything was up because that's what he normally does um but I came out and weren't you like putting because you had an extra backpack right yeah and you were like putting the ring away and you had to like shut, like throw the extra backpack over to the side so I wouldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> because then I would have like been able to tell, but. And I had to leave, I had to walk out the house with two bags. Yeah. And then I was supposed to take back uh, a thing of dog food. So I picked up the, I put the dog food in front of the other backpack and That's I, right. I picked them up together. That's and right. And I just like threw it out the door. And I had no clue. I was also like still half asleep and wasn't really paying attention to what you were doing. But I do remember you being in your pajama pants and I was like, why aren't you in your jeans? And you were like, oh, I was cold. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to like go put on like regular pants. Yeah. You had to like actually get dressed. <laughs> and I found out that the night before he had cleaned up because afterwards, both of our families came over and we had dinner. Um, so he had cleaned up a little bit and I didn't notice like, I never cleaned. So that should have been a red flag. You were more just like tidying up and putting things away. And sometimes like you'll do that at night or I'll do that at night. So it wasn't like the weirdest thing ever. Yeah. I always tidy up. Like I had zero clue, zero clue. It's like seriously super impressive because he like, I don't think you've ever been able to actually surprise me. I'm not a planner. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's the other thing. You don't plan anything. So like stuff just kind of falls into place for me and I roll with it. Cause I plan it. Probably be why. Yeah. <laughs> but if he would have like planned for us to go somewhere, I probably would have known. Yeah. That's why I didn't do it. So he, you <clears throat> were like texting my sister, right? Mm -hmm. working it all out him and my sister are like siblings like they fight like siblings it's great um i dislike her <laughs> no you don't but he had been texting my sister didn't you go down there the day before mm -hmm. to like time it and see how long well just to pick out a scope out a spot oh okay and then see how long the walk was from the parking lot to the to where you were mm -hmm. so you knew how long do you think you were waiting for me Way too long. You guys were walking so slow. Well, I thought we were taking so photos. So I, I got there early, obviously, because right. I don't want to be late. 
And then I was probably standing there for a good 25 minutes. <laughs> and you're like, you can't be on your phone. But wasn't McKenna texting you? Yeah. She was like, we're almost there. And my dad had strategically taken my dog, our dog. I was walking him and my dad like was like, here, I can walk him for a little bit. That was planned. Really? Mm -hmm. I think I even gave him to him. Like, I don't think. Well, it, regardless, somebody was going to take him yeah. before you went around that curve. Right. About, and it was right before we ran out on the curve. Mm -hmm. And like my mom had a camera, my sister recorded it. It was all planned out. Yeah. You like, I'm so impressed, especially since you're not a planner. It was mostly your sister. Well, but you came up with it. I got the wheels turning. Yeah. So that's our proposal story, how he managed to actually surprise me. Um, it was amazing. It was perfect. It was worth the wait. You didn't wait that long. Uh, I waited seven years. Oh, so you knew from day one you were going to marry me? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, that is our proposal story. Happy seven year anniversary, babe. This is where we're at now. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Down there.